By the end of this video, you will know how to make a basic A-line skirt pattern from start to finish in clothes. You can apply this pattern drafting method onto hand drafting pattern as well as onto cloth drafting. For example, I'm going to use cloth software to draft these skirt patterns. You will not require to know cloth software to learn this simple drafting method. I will walk you through step by step on how to draft these A-line skirt patterns. These include measuring your body, picking the correct avatar size for your skirt, sewing it in clothes, fitting the skirt onto the avatar, then apply the fabrics onto the skirt all done in clothes. So after we created the dot, next I'm going to mark the notch for the zipper end, okay? To do that, I'm going to come over here to this notch tool, click one to select, and I'm going to come back to this pattern, just hover the mouse over that center line where we're going to place the notch, and right click. After that, you see this notch window pop up. I'm going to click and then drag it over here a little bit so I can see the, the notch. So right here, based on, once again, guys, we by default split into two line option is the pair. And I'm going to type in this time 16 for the dot notch. And then I'm going to leave everything as is and click OK. And once again, I'm going to click on the page to release so I can see the notch better. Okay, so we just create the zipper notch. Next, I'm going to show you how to create the folding line that make it perfect for the skirt. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little more. So again, just two finger on this mouse pad and then slide it forward to zoom in. There are a few steps to do this. And I will show you step by step on how to do it. So first, I'm going to come over here to this edit pattern tool, click on one, and then hover the mouse to the right and select edit pattern tool. And come back, click one on this pattern edge on the bottom, like the baseline of the skirt, click on it. And I'm going to right click, okay? And then I'm going to select offset as internal line. And I'm going to type in three centimeter. And as you can see, the number offset is one and the extent box is checked. Then I'm going to click on okay to confirm. Okay, after that, I'm going to cut that line, guy. To cut the line, I'm going to, once again, while that, you see that uh, highlight, yellow highlight onto the internal line, it's meant that the line is selected. So I'm gonna just right click on that line, okay? And I'm going to cut that line off, okay? After that, I'm going to come to this transform tool, click on it, and then come over here, click on that extra piece and press down the lead or backspace on your keyboard to the lead. So next, I'm going to extend this pattern back, okay? By click one on that baseline, right click, and I'm going to, instead of offset as internal line, I'm going to select offset pattern outline. Okay, and these offset pattern outlines appear and I'm going to type in. So first of all, direction you want to extend and distance we want it three centimeter. And then total distance we want it three, that's perfect. And we want to check this internal line box, okay? After that, 
come down here, side segment type. We want that to be mirror, okay? Next, I'm going to, you see right here, default corner checks and click on OK to confirm. After that, I'm going to, once again, click down here on the baseline of the skirt and then right click and I'm going to select offset as internal line. And this thing we want it six centimeter in, instead of three. And extend perfect number of sets one. I'm going to click OK. So right here, this is important guy. Why I used the cut mode earlier is because we want this bottom line here to match with this top line, okay? Next, I'm going to just click one on the page to release. 